Good morning and welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. Joining us in the studio is Monica Nickel and Melody Nestor from the Mount Washington Valley Skating Club. How are you guys today? We are wonderful. It's a it's great. a skating morning that we're talking about today. It is a hammerina yes. morning. Right? A ham hammerina yes. morning. Yes. And so let's talk about um, the Mount Washington Valley Skating Club. You guys have been around for a long time and really providing some great opportunities for people here in the valley. Absolutely, we um, we give opportunities for not only um, children. A lot, of, certainly, a lot of kids participate in our program. But there's actually a growing number of adults who have been becoming involved with the skating program, either learning how to skate or maybe they pond skated as a kid and they just want to develop a little more more skills, or they just want the opportunity to have some fun on the ice. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, Monica, so you are the do we call you the head coach? What do we call you for, uh, for the skating club? Yeah, the head coach, um, director, and um, I just moved to the, the valley about a couple years ago, so stumbled into meeting Melody, and here we are in the coaching. I haven't been um, you know, in the skating world for a few years, just a couple. Um, so nice to be back at it, and it just all comes back when you're on the ice, yeah. you know, so it's been nice. But you used to skate professionally and did performances. I did for about 20 years. Um, I competed in Canada and West Germany and then and then performed with Holiday on Ice wow, for a couple great. of years. Yes, it was it was really a neat time. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Now you've got some, some stuff coming up here pretty quick, don't you? We do. Next Sunday, um, the 17th from 4.30 to, to 6, we're <laughs> providing our annual open house, which gives the community an opportunity to come skate for free. Um, certainly Hammerina is supporting us in yeah. that, which is great. Um, and so uh, they will be providing free skate, um, free skate rentals and helmet rentals if folks don't have their own skates. Nice. Um, Otherwise, you can bring your own skates and, and have an hour and a half to skate around as an individual or family and, and meet some of our uh, coaches like Monica and um, others who are helping out um, with teaching skating. And so what what's a good age if somebody says, hey, I want my kids to get into skating, what's a good age to put them on skates? Anywhere from two, um, three. We have a couple of, we have a twin set at four years old. Wow. And they... Uh, amazing over the summer how much they learned they went from hardly standing to skating across the ice and doing some tricks so it's oh, been really nice that's great yeah it's been great so really start them young <laughs> start them you young can, you know yes, absolutely yes, and you yes. know it's, it's those skills it's learning yes. all those skills yes and one of the things that we talked about are just briefly before um some people might well i want to play hockey well you guys set people up for that. We do, we do. We've had some really star players start out with um, learning how to skate through our Learn to Skate for Hockey program. So, um, and then if the, it's great if they can hit the puck and get it where they need to go, but if they can't get quickly enough to the puck, they're not gonna be a, a great hockey player. Right, right. So we really work on drills and getting them to the point where we can turn them over to um, for hockey instruction and the, the youth programs, and they really take off from there. Oh, so that's great. And they really, it's, um, they had a lot of fun this summer they too, great, working, working yeah. on the hockey skills. Yeah. So yeah, it worked well. We got to learn the basics, you know. Yes. You got to yeah. go yes. forward and backward, and, yes. and uh, all that. Uh, and being able to turn around, <laughs> you know, you can see the hockey players being able to turn oh, around absolutely. really yeah. quickly. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. actually one of the things that I yeah. enjoy watching. You know, a hockey game is like uh, appreciating the skating skills, you know, yes. because yeah. exactly yeah. that. They're I mean, they're great. They're going. Going, going, going for and the And you full can't game think game. about what you're doing with your right. skating. You've got to be watching the puck and where your teammates are. So you've got to be able to stand up. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And stop fast. And the other yeah. thing, um, so we have the hockey programs, but we also have um, learned to, so the basic learn to skate, but we also get into freestyle skating. So if there's a skater who wants to be able to jump and spin and uh, do, you know, whatever camels or whatever they yeah. can they can um, learn that through our program that's awesome because um, mm -hmm. we all watch that you know we all watch the olympics and the other skating times it's like how do you do that yeah yeah how do you spin without getting dizzy right <laughs> um, <laughs> you learn how that do you spin without getting dizzy, <laughs> right? right so not only do you learn how to skate but you learn some science and some centrifugal forces and 
the agility and the balance, but um, your, your, you know, fluids in your head start spinning, but you, as you pull out of the spin, your head settles down and then you, you get quickly over that sen sensation. <laughs> wow. um, you get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should just go for that, just to, see, you know, just to figure we'll out how to spin, spin, around, around. spin around in a room, you know. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And yeah. so, yeah. now, do you have regular um, weekly uh, lessons? How do, you, how do the lessons work? Yes, on um, this year, it's Sundays and Tuesday afternoons. We, we're currently on break, if you will, but after our open house, we'll be starting that up right away with that first Tuesday after this Great. coming um, Sunday. So we'll, we'll be uh, Tuesday and Sundays, it'll be um, 4.30 to 6 is our time slot. And um, depending what level you're in, we'll put you in those different places. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. and. Some of the skills um, will build up to th those who want to participate can also participate in the Holiday on Ice show, which will be December 2nd. So you don't need to do that, but it's a lot. Most of our skaters want to participate yeah. in that. It's a lot of fun. And again, another community give back um, for a free show for um, the community. And that's always a lot of fun. I usually uh, someone will come and we, we talk about that. And what a great opportunity. And and. When all of a sudden you realize, wait, these are all my neighbors who are out here, you know, skating right. amazingly. Right. Yeah. And it builds that community. We have yep. some junior coaches and then the little ones, they, they love to see each other. It's like dance or gymnastics. And, you know, they just build that into, you know, being together and, and working together. Now, yeah. you mentioned about the junior coaches a little bit before, yeah. too. So yeah. how does someone evolve into a junior coach? I think that would be a great... Uh, it Great is. something to, for kids to look forward to. You know, just just the learning while you teach, you know, and, and being able to give back to the little ones. So um, once they hit um, into the free skate levels, they're able then to, to work with the little ones. We have a little five-year-old that was helping the little ones, <laughs> and, and he's just really tiny but can skate beautifully. Oh, that's great. And he was helping. He was shorter than most of the little ones, but he was helping all of them with their skating skills this wow. summer. So it was really neat. That's fun. Yeah, it was great. And kids love to learn from other kids, too. Oh, absolutely. So, yes. you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it made... Yes. Um, the, there were some opportunities where, you know, we're certainly coaching them as adults to kids, but to have a little one come in and, oh, it's easy, it's fun, try yeah, this. Do, and do this. and yeah. uh, being able yeah. to demo it with yeah. such enthusiasm and, and skill yeah. and uh, yeah. really helped to make a difference in a couple of our students, for a couple of our students who were um, just kind of like trying it and trying it, and then they would see him come in and do it, and then all of a sudden they were doing it too. That's great. So it was yeah. fun. Yeah. Great. What, <laughs> so we have the website, um, or you can tell us what I think it's going to appear on the screen. So what, what is the website? MWVSC, which stands for Mount Washington Valley Skating Club. Very dot easy. Org. Dot Very org. easy. Okay. <clears throat> we also have a, a link off of the Hammerina. So if you go to the Hammerina, um, who we couldn't exist without them, um, they also have a link back to our our uh, website. Terrific. Yeah. So if you want to get any information about all the things going on, uh, plus the open house, everything else, definitely check out the website. Plus, we've been able to show a lot of the great pictures and videos oh. from that. So yeah. great. Uh, it is. It's a lot of fun. So well, thanks so much uh, Thank for coming you. by today. We really and we want to you know hear about uh, everything going on, and especially when we get up to December and find out more about the, that program because that's always a neat one. So fun. So Thank Monica. You.